Hello and welcome back to the channel and in today's video I am going to show you how to open Python files from Windows batch files including making Python programs auto run when you start up Windows initially. So I am super excited to bring you guys this tutorial this is one of the most requested videos I've ever done. And the question keeps coming up if I have a Python script and I want to automatically start up when I start up Windows, and I don't want to turn Python scripts into executables, what is the best way to do that? Because Python is not a compiled language. It's not a C based language, rather than turning your files into executables, it's actually just easiest to call python.exe and then a specific .py file from within a a Windows batch file. So what we're going to look at today is how to call a Python script from a Windows batch file. It doesn't really matter what Python script you use. But for my example, I'm going to use a Python uh, script that I made previously on the channel. This is a beat maker, which uh, is basically an electronic drum kit where you can make your own backbeat. And uh, it's, it's pretty fun. Um, this was actually a big video for the channel. It got featured on free code camp. Um, so this was a really fun video for me, and that's why I chose this project to use, but also because it's kind of complicated. It's like over 200 lines of code. It calls external files, um, and I want to show you how easy it is to call this from within a batch file. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm using an IDE here called Jet or uh, PyCharm by the company JetBrains. Doesn't really matter what IDE you develop your Python code in, as long as you have uh, Python installed and you have a .py file on your computer, then you can develop in whatever IDE you want. The thing I like about uh, PyCharm is when you run a file, when you run a .py file, it gives you this path in the bottom, which shows your file path to run python.exe, and then it shows you the file path to the .py file that you're running. This just copying and pasting it into a batch file is actually like 70% of the work required. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, but if you don't have this, all you have to do is whatever IDE you're developing your .py file in, you need to find the file path that it lives in, and then you need to find somewhere that python.exe lives on your computer. The reality is when you install Python, there's probably a folder like app data or program files that has Python installed, but whatever IDE you're developing in, if it creates virtual environments for your projects, it would also have Python installed in it. Okay, so we're going to copy this file path and we're just going to open up notepad and we're going to open an empty text file and we're gonna paste those file paths in. Okay, so I'm gonna take the first half of that up to python.exe. I'm gonna put in one set of quotes. So I have my C users, blah, blah, blah something that will call python.exe. And then in a second set of quotes, I'm going to put the file path for the file that I actually wanna run then really the only two things that are specifically going to make this a uh, batch file, a Windows batch file, is you want to tell echo off. And then at the end, you want to say pause so it doesn't just blast through this line of code and then immediately close the batch file. All right. And now we have a text that's this simple. And we just hit file and then save as and I'm going to put it on the desktop. And I'm going to save it on my desktop. And I'm going to call it beatmaker dot B A T. And this is the important part that dot B A T, even though it's a text document, when you do dot B A T, you're telling Windows that it's a batch file. So if I hit save, and then I did already have it on there, so I'll replace it. But if I hit save and I didn't have it, it would just put it on there. I'm going to close PyCharm so you guys can see that it's not on there. And now I have this file with two little gears on it on my desktop, and it says Beatmaker. So I'm going to go ahead and double click that. And it says hello from Pygame because that's what happens when you boot up a Python file with Pygame in it. And you can see it running, and this is immediately functional. Okay, so I have the hi hat, the snare, the kicks. And I'm just gonna say this is one of like my favorite Python files I've ever made. Um, but you can see there, just by uh, putting the Python script inside a batch file, I've basically turned it into an executable, um, which is super easy. So the last thing I wanna show 
is the easiest way to put that batch file into something that's going to automatically run when you start up your computer. And right before we get to that, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, PCBWay. PCBWay manufactures high quality printed circuit board and printed circuit board assemblies for hobbyists and makers. Their engineering staff reviews every order to make sure it's accurate, and their sales and service team is incredibly responsive and helpful. They have all sorts of cool customization options, including changing the color of the boards themselves and the text that you print onto your boards. In addition, they have terrific 3D printing and metal CNC prototyping services. Their pricing is super fair and their turnaround time is great. So thank you to PCBWay for sponsoring the video and be sure to check them out in the link in the description below the video. Now back to the tutorial. Something that's going to automatically run when you start up your computer. And to do this, I do Windows R, I open this run menu and then type shell colon startup. This is just the easiest way to get to the folder that runs when you start your computer up. Okay, so you hit enter on that and it brings you to a folder and then all you have to do, it's this easy, just control C on the batch file that you just made and drop it into startup, okay? Now the only way I can really show you this working is me taking a video with my phone while I restart the computer. So the video editing might clip a little bit now so that I can show you this uh, booting up on auto startup. Okay, so I'm signed out. I'm going to uh, put my pin in. And there's our batch file running our script and it goes straight to the program and we can start using it immediately. So just like that, we've created a file that can run on startup. Hey you guys, so that is gonna do it for today's video. I hope you found this useful. I hope it showed you exactly what you're looking for when you clicked on this video. Be sure to drop a comment letting me know what you wanna see more of on the channel and if you had any questions about what you saw here today. Consider leaving a like on the video, subscribing to the channel, it helps me out a ton. If you love the content I'm making on the channel, consider becoming a super supporter of Lamaster Tech by checking out my Patreon link in the comments below as well. Thank you so much for watching, good luck with your projects, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, bye.